Hi, good morning and welcome to meditation. Today is the 30th of November. We come to at, uh, nearly at the end of the autumn here in the Northern Hemisphere. And uh, the snow has appeared on the mountains, on the Pyrenees. And uh, here uh, it has been raining for centuries here on the coast, in this beautiful Basque coast near Spain, near the Basque uh, the Spanish Basque country. So welcome to this meditation. Let us read it together in 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 12. We are not trying to command ourselves to you again, but we are giving you an opportunity to, have, to take pride in us so that you can answer those who take pride in what is seen rather than in what is in the heart. So God is, is telling us to um, to take pride in what is in the heart is the, op- the work of the Holy Spirit in our heart. Paul was going through many, many trials. He tried to get there on time to visit this, these people in this church of Corinth. He was late. There was trials. There was persecution. He was beaten, uh, as he's going to describe in the chapter chapter 11. So people tended to see in Paul not a hero, not a huge apostle, but a, 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 a one that was failing, a person who was failing, because he was not like the athletes, you know, with all the muscles uh, running in the stadiums, all those heroes. But Paul was just a um, humble apostle who was preaching the eternal gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. So he's saying, don't Take the opportunity to see what is in the heart. To take the opportunity here comes from a word that means the, 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 the start pointing. It was that place from where the soldiers were sent. Maybe also the place where the athletes started running. So it is an opportunity to, to, to run, to go to, to war, to fight. Take this opportunity to see what is in the heart. Why? Because in 1 Samuel chapter 16, verse 7, God says, But the Lord said to Samuel, Do not consider his appearance or his height, for I have rejected him. The Lord does not look at the things people look, look at. People look at the outward appearance, but the Lord looks at the heart. The Lord looks at the heart. So we should be paying attention on on what is in our hearts first. Through whom we have gained access by faith into this grace in which we now stand and we boast in the hope of the glory of God. We take pride in the hope of the glory of God because the hope of the glory of God is everything that we need because it is eternal. Our our glory is like the flower on a dry land, like in northern Af- in north Af- in north northern Senegal where I used to live. We had like ten days of rain. One year we had ten days of rain for the whole year. So the the, the desert becomes green for maybe two three weeks and then it, it it disappears. Our glory is like that, but the glory of the Lord is eternal. Ephesians chapter 2 verse 9, not by works, so that no one can boast. We cannot boast because everything is by grace, by faith, and even faith is a gift from God. So God bless you.